we have scientists saying that off the coast of Central California right now hides under the waves a bunch of these massive pockmarks all over the seafloor. They say that the area is roughly the size of Los Angeles. It's about 500 square miles all the way around. And these pits, they thought for a while, were formed from methane. And of course, scientists would say this, kind of guessing, and people would just accept it and, and go on. But now they've gone down and they've looked at these round depressions, and they're saying that there are a whopping six football fields in length from rim to rim, and about 16 feet deep apiece. And they don't think that these were formed from methane bubbles at all. They say that the tidy explanation raised eyebrows when they went to go offshore into this exact same area and put up wind turbines. This slope, continental slope area, is between 1,600 and 5,200 feet below the waves. They say that if methane were still leaking, they would see it and that the turbines could not anchor into the earth, so to speak, if that was the case. So they went looking. And when they went looking, they found these pockmarks just all over the place. And they were like symmetrical, and the distance between them were almost identical. So they went over with all kinds of scans and everything else, and they say that these circles average about 656 feet across. And they're all over the place in this region. There's an insert on the map that zooms in. And it's, it's kind of hard to see, but this whole region here, within, within right here, there's all kinds of little bitty dots. Not these larger ones, but they're really small. And those represent these pockmarks all over the place. But this region, full of mystery, you talk about underground bases, ancient bases, ancient underground tunnels, and, and everything else that run off the coast of California. Some of this is known. They've discovered tunnel systems right there on the coast that they believe run to areas underground, even under the ocean. A lot of mystery surrounding this, but one thing's for sure, they have been waiting for the big one in terms of an earthquake to strike this region as well. California just seeing a series of what I would say are mid-sized quakes here from 2.5 to 2.9, but striking right along the San Andreas fault line. And they're warning it's overdue. See, the San Andreas, the main cause of concern in Southern California, if anything lets loose there, it's due to erupt now. Well, it goes off every 150 years, right? And the last one was 167 years ago. Southern California due for the big one here at any time. Also, the New Madrid Fault as well. I'll leave a link here so you guys can read up on this. But join me for the live streams over on the main channel, Dabu77. Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern. Where I'm talking about this stuff in greater detail. Also, make sure to check your notifications here on the channel. To make sure that you're getting notified for all my videos that I'm putting out. Because YouTube seems to be... Not sending the notifications. Much love.